Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. Uh, this is a new love reading for uh, Scorpio. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for March 2022. So uh, Scorpio, apply this to your own unique situation. It could be someone that you're, uh, someone new that you're talking to, you're dating someone new, um, or you just started a, a relationship with someone new, or that you are not dealing with anyone and this new person could be coming towards you in the future. So we're going to take a look at this new person, this new love, what they're thinking, feeling towards you, what their intentions are moving forward. Like I said, apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave, uh, leave the rest behind. Um, if this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when, I, when my new videos post. Uh, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Scorpio, let's get started. Tell me about the new love, new person that uh, Scorpio is dealing with. What is this person currently thinking and feeling towards Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for March 2022. So we have the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. And then we have the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords, both in the reverse, okay? I don't know, you could switch the roles if you want, but I feel like someone here is being really, really sneaky. And they feel like another person is sort of learning their lesson, whereas someone here does not want anything to do with this, okay? So I feel like someone here might be telling someone that they want marriage, they want commitment here, but I feel like someone here is lying, okay? So we have the Ten of Cups and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Could be dealing with the Taurus here. Ten of Cups. Yeah, you see, I'm going to take these here too. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, um, whoever you're dealing with here, um, Scorpio, you might be leaving this person behind or that this person might be leaving you behind uh, because I feel like there is a, um, a lesson that someone learned here uh, because of a prior experience where there was lies and deception here, you know, this person was, uh, you know, uh, ghosting you. This person was leaving you alone. This person was stressing you out. This person was smothering you or someone here was smothering someone, okay? So I feel like you're walking away from a karmic. It, it seems like someone here uh, met a karmic and someone here is walking away, okay? So eight of swords in the reverse. We have the hermit here, Virgo energy. It seems like someone here learned their lessons here. I feel like someone here does not want to get caught in a situation again where they're feeling trapped. They don't want to be stressed out, okay? They don't want to get hurt. They don't want to be lied to. Someone here does not want to be lied to. Nine of Swords in the reverse. And the Strength card. Leo energy. Yeah, it seems like you saw red flags with fireworks and you just walked away or someone here walked away, okay? So like I said, someone here is lying about wanting commitment here with you. This person could be a breadcrumber, okay? This person could come from a place of lack. This person might be a bit of an empty shell. This person, you know, could come off as, you know, someone here who doesn't have feelings or anything like that, okay? So, like I said, you could switch the roles if you want. We have the Hermit Virgo energy. We have Leo energy with the uh, Strength card in Hierophant, Taurus energy. Could be dealing with any of those energies, Scorpio. You might have those energies in your chart, too. Um, tell me about Scorpio's uh, new person, new love. What is this person's uh, long-term intentions with Scorpio? What is this person's long-term intentions with Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Scorpio. Oh, 
Okay. We have the Emperor and the King of Pentacles. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Aries energy with that Emperor there. Um, we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Seems like this person's choosing you. Um, Scorpio. You could be this pre-empress here or this masculine here. This empress slash pre-empress or this masculine, this king of pentacles slash emperor. I feel like this person... is really trying, is really honest about this, but I feel like you might not be trusting it because perhaps of, of some past experiences here. It seems like you might be making a decision to walk away from this. Someone here is making a decision to walk away from this. King of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the King of Swords. More Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and then the King of Swords here. I feel like someone here is trying to make a plan to approach you or to make you some sort of offer here. I mean, we have the Nine and the Ten of Pentacles here and the Ten of Cups. It doesn't get any better than that. So, you know, it could be, you know, this masculine is being genuine, sincere about it, but this empress slash pre-empress is not trusting it. Nine of Pentacles. And the Three of Wands in the reverse. This pre-empress is not looking at the future here with someone. Someone here is not making plans. Two of Swords in the reverse. We have the Fool, Aries energy. Also Aquarius energy. Seems like someone here hasn't really let go of the past. Seems like we have someone here, instead of joining someone here in a relationship, someone here is just going off on their own and I feel like it's this Empress here. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Maybe this Empress hasn't let go of the past. Queen of Cups in the reverse. I feel like someone here maybe hasn't let go of the past yet. Tell me about the Empress. Why is the Empress here? The Empress in the Tower in the reverse. Aries energy, Scorpio energy, could be dealing with another Scorpio here. So Scorpio, I feel, I'm feel i feeling like someone here wants a relationship with you. Someone here is seeing you as the one, okay? They want to be with you. Um, but at the same time, I feel like you might be seeing this as a toxic relationship. It could be toxic or a toxic opportunity here for someone. Whatever this is, I feel like that you have a very strong soul tie with this individual, and I feel like this is scaring someone. That's why we have someone here that's not interested and that's walking away. Because I feel like someone here hasn't really completely let go of the past or healed from their past yet. Because I feel like with this Empress, I feel like this Empress still has a lesson to learn. And I feel like they're learning it, uh, but it, it could be just too soon for this Empress. I feel like we have someone here who's really scared of this connection, really scared of the strong soul tie, and I feel like someone here is not trusting it, okay? Someone here is not trusting it. Someone here hasn't really gotten over some pain, uh, a betrayal that they went through here, and I feel like it's this empress, pre-empress slash queen, and this new love is trying to come in, uh, trying to do everything that they can, but I don't think it's working. I feel like someone here is trying to get, get back on their own two feet, okay? Trying to regain some, some of their self-worth, trying to heal here, okay? So, um, 
So Scorpio, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.